hi guys, it's Inam 4 here and we're going to be taking a look at how easy it is to change and upgrade your hard disk drive on your PlayStation 4. So obviously for this you're going to need the console unit itself, the PS4 controller and the USB sync cable that came with it because as we're removing the brains of the machine and that's what the hard disk drive is because it houses all the music, the movies, the pictures and the game data as well. None of that information is automatically transferred through to your new drive once you place it in the console. So please make sure you back up all the important information that you need before you remove your old drive and subsequently we need to repair the controller with the console once a new drive has been placed within the unit. In addition you'll also be needing a Phillips head screwdriver and a USB memory stick minimum of one gigabyte in size as well as the replacement hard disk drive that you're going to be using. I myself am opting for a solid state drive from Samsung which is the 840 Pro series 512 gigabytes in size but generally as long as the replacement drive that you're going to be using fits a 2.5 inch laptop form factor and is about nine and a half millimeters thick as well as being 160 gigabytes in size as a minimum you should have no problems at all because the SATA connections that they use are exactly the same once you've turned off your ps4 and removed all the power cables from it the hard drive sits underneath this shiny piano black section of the unit itself this section is not screwed down they're simply clips hold holding it in place and what you need to do is hold this section down so apply pressure down here and then pull it towards you and then you'll hear the clips snapping away that's not the sound of them breaking that's simply the sound that they make as they've been unclipped and then clipped back in again and rather than doing it in the center i'm going to do the right hand side first so left hand applying pressure down and then right hand pulling towards me so here we go there we go you can hear them that side and the left hand side will do the same thing again and there we go and you can see how that's really free and loose now so all we can do is just lift it away you can see the hard drive through this meshed metal casing along the right hand side here to get the hard drive out all you simply need to do is undo this phillips head screw that you can see here with the playstation shapes embossed into it now the hard drive itself can simply be pulled away like so and you'll notice it's within its own little hard drive caddy so you need to remove these two black screws as well as these ones here now with the screws out the way all you simply do is slide the hard drive away out of the caddy so we'll leave that to one side and then we'll bring in a replacement drive and it goes in in exactly the same manner so you just slide it in match up the screw holes once the screws have been replaced you should be able to see the SATA connections on the one side of the hard drive caddy and then all you simply do is slide it back into place again and it should kind of click in there we go and then we replace the screw that we took out with the playstation shapes on it here we can now put the cover back on slide on the left hand side first then push down on the right hand side and as you can see here it's very loose in place where it should be and all you simply should need to do is click it in place like so and it's as good as new plug your usb memory stick into your computer and select open folder to view files from here click on computer right click on the memory stick then select format and ensure FAT32 is a file system and hit start. We want to make sure that the memory stick is formatted in the FAT32 file system because any other file system will not work with the PlayStation 4. Next up, double click into the memory stick and create a new folder in here called PS4, all in uppercase characters. Then double click into this folder and create another folder called update again in all uppercase characters and double click into this as well next up load up the internet and i will try and leave a direct link to this website in the description down below but if you don't have that just simply type in playstation 4 system recovery and it will be the top link on here it's the official playstation pages and it currently tells us that the software version that they're running now is version 1.52 and it goes through the same steps that we've already done plug in your usb drive create a folder called ps4 within that create another folder called update and then hit this download now button which downloads the 859 megabyte software update file so it may take a little bit of time depending on how fast your internet actually is that's finished downloading so i'm going to get rid of the internet and there's my software update file for the playstation 4 i'm going to copy it to my update folder which we created within the ps4 folder of my usb flash drive so we'll let that copy across so we no longer need the computer so i'm going to exit out of this and remove my usb drive next we need to plug in the power cable to your console and then the hdmi lead to your tv then using the usb sync cable 
plug in the one end into your console, the other end into your DualShock 4 controller, and then finally, the USB memory stick that we preloaded with the PlayStation software, plug that into the USB port, and then hold down the power button for about 10 seconds to load into safe mode. When prompted, press the PlayStation button and scroll down to initialize PS4 and reinstall system software. You'll then be advised to insert a USB memory stick with an update file, so hit OK and give it a couple of minutes to go through the setup. You'll then be advised to initialize a PS4 where all data will be lost, so hit yes and give it another couple of minutes to initialize where it will reboot and then finish the installation and then reboot for a second time where you can go through the initial console setup wizard. There we go folks, that's how easily you can change and upgrade your hard disk drive on your PlayStation 4 gaming console. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw and if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe, it's just down there, it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.